God told me March would be the month of destruction. He told me to be out of Boston by March 3rd. He formed a three in the clouds, which I asked him to form again. Fifteen minutes later, another perfect three in the clouds formed, and he said March 3rd be out of Boston. On March 2nd and 3rd, severe winter storms hit the East Coast, and they shut down Boston's Logan Airport as well as many other major airports on the East Coast. Severe storms and flooding hit Virginia, the Alabamas, the Carolinas, Kentucky, Georgia. Texas saw severe storms. There was blizzards, flooding, high winds and tornadoes and ice storms across the U.S. There were many deaths and destruction in March. Even overseas in England, 80 mile an hour winds coupled with 90 flood warnings made it the worst winter in southern England. A cyclone passed along the south coast of Australia and on the 15th the heavy gale winds were recorded in Sydney. Disturbances like earthquake waves were recorded on the 15th, 16th, and 17th of March. A 40-foot tidal wave reached New Guinea and New Britain on the 13th. A 7.9 earthquake hit Tonga. A meteor called the 2009 DD-45 was on a collision course with Earth on March 3rd. Some of you are saying that we are false prophets. But I ask you again, did nothing happen in March? Look in the news, you will see. But God said it was going to be much worse. But because people prayed and fasted, hoping to turn God's heart from the destruction that we knew was supposed to hit, God has delayed and lessened His wrath. And believe me, when the Bible says to pray that our prayers have power, this is proof. Many times throughout the Bible, great prophets such as Jonah and Isaiah what they saw did not come to pass because the people received their prophecy. Jonah was told to go prophesy to the city of Nineveh and tell them that it would be destroyed. Jonah fled himself from Nineveh because he didn't want to do it. He knew that God may change his mind and not destroy them. But Jonah was put in the whale and spewed back out onto the shores of Nineveh and he went back and he prophesied. Jonah 3, 1-10 says, After Jonah went to the city of Nineveh and pronounced the destruction would come in forty days, the people responded as God desired. Their repentance changed God's mind, and He did not destroy a single person. Now you may call Jonah a false prophet, but prophecies are meant to warn the people of what will happen if they don't heed the prophecy. Prayers do change. Repentance changes the prophecy. If the people heed the prophecy, the prophecy does not come to pass. With Isaiah, Isaiah accurately predicted many things, including the virgin birth of Christ. Isaiah was a great prophetic voice. He gave a prediction that said that King Hezekiah would die. And when King Hezekiah heard this, he wept, and he immediately fell to his knees and he prayed, reminding God of all the good he had done in his lifetime. His response to the prophetic prediction changed God's mind and he was immediately granted another 15 years to live. But Isaiah's initial prediction, his prophecy, did not come to pass because Hezekiah's response. You see, we have to understand, we can deny the prophet, deny the prophecy, and receive what God has said will come to pass, or we can receive it, we can repent, we can pray, and what is prophesied will not come to pass. Your response will determine whether or not what was said will come to pass if that prophet was a true prophet. You are responsible for your own actions, and God has said, because so many of us have been praying, we've been fasting, we've been on our knees repenting for our nation, he has lessened what was supposed to have hit us in March, and he has held it off, but now he says, I see that you're not really seeking me anymore. Those of us that are praying, many of us are praying for our own circumstances. We're only praying that things get better. We're not truly seeking a relationship with God, and so God said he will resume what was prophesied in March. Unless we turn back, come to our knees, repent, and pray and get into a deeper relationship with Him, we can prevent what is to hit our nation. Please, fall to your knees. Fall to your faces, God said. 
He said, when you come into repentance with me, you fall to your face, not just your knees. He said, I want you on your face. And if we do so, we can change the future of where we're headed. God bless you.